everyone, this is Commander Brits, and today in this video, I'm going to cover all of the LEGO news for the past few weeks because I've missed some, and this will be a pretty long video covering a lot of different stuff. First off, there have been new Monkey Kid sets revealed. They are coming out on September 1, 2020. The first one is Sandy Speedboat. $60, piece, $60 for 394 pieces, which looks pretty bad, but you are getting a nice looking blue and orange uh, speedboat, and then you're getting some terrain, and this new Spider Queen figure, which looks pretty nice, a nice figure selection, and you have to account that Sandy is a big fig, and it's going to cost more. Next up is Monkey Kids Cloud Roadster. This one is $10 more. $70 comes with five figures and it had 659 pieces. So not all that bad price to part ratio. And I like these new orange and blue bad guys. I think they're pretty cool looking. And I, I like this roadster. I think it's a very unique design. You also get some more, another vehicle. And yeah, I think this set might be a little expensive for what it is, a car. But it is a nice looking set. So both of those sets are okay. They are a bit expensive. But the Flaming Foundry, the most, most expensive one of this mini wave. It's $140 for 1,427 1, pieces, so not bad, but it just looks a little messy to me, and you can't really see what's going on. Definitely doesn't look as good as the Team Secret HQ from the last wave, and in general, I don't like the builds that have to do with the bold guides because everything just looks so messy. This color scheme, I'm not the biggest fan of. Nice minifigure selection, and you do get a few small side builds. You even get, like, that bowl tank that came out in the first wave, kind of, which is nice. And just doesn't look like there'll be too much interior, and this isn't exactly my favorite set. Moving on, we have the Nintendo Entertainment System, which is going to cost you... $230, and this looks like it will be a very nice set for fans of Nintendo, and yeah, you'll be able to have that new Mario piece go up and down, it can interact with the Mario from the starter pack, and I just think this is a really nice looking set, and this one will come out on August 1st with 2,646 pieces. Next up, I'm going to talk about the LEGO Alt series, which is the, the oldest one, and I've missed this one for a few weeks. Each of these will cost $120, which does seem like a steep price, but it's a lot of tiny one-by-one, so they'll have something like 3,000 pieces each one, and you can also build multiple in one, like it's a 3-in-1 or 4-in-1, but you will not be able to build all of that. Those are nice. These will be very nice for adult fans of LEGO and adult fans of whatever thing they're buying to display in their house, and they look very nice. Next up, I'm going to talk about um, the, the, the most Isley Cantina. It's go probably going to be represented in UCS form for Star Wars instead of the Imperial Shuttle, which is definitely going to bum a lot of people out, but I do think LEGO could make this mode Isley Isley Cantina look really nice. They haven't done the best before as far as shields go with the Assault of Hoth and the Bespin one, because I guess people just don't want land stuff as much. So this would be an interesting choice from LEGO. And also I think this wouldn't be just the cantina. It would maybe have a little shipyard or docking bay, something like that. And so yeah, this could be a very nice set. Probably around 
2,500 to 3,000 pieces, 250 to $300, something around that. And then also we have some sad news. This is the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order will likely not be represented in LEGO. And I was a big fan of this game, so I'm quite sad about this. And they're saying because it's too violent. And I've heard all kinds of people talking about this. Like, I think Lego just makes excuses to make things violent. Like, they have people being cut in half in the Lego games and stuff like that. And plus, they just made a scene about the Duel of Mustafa, which is like the most bloodiest and uh, violent scene in all of Star Wars. So I don't think they can really say it's too violent. It's not that violent of a game. They've already done Battlefront 2 and Battlefront 1 in the battle pack. And even if they just made two sets, like a Porch Trooper battle pack and the Mantis, that would be fine. They just need to make a few sets and LEGO needs to stop with the too violent stuff because they know they have lots of audience members and lots of people who buy their stuff that are teens and adults and not just kids. So that's going to wrap it up for this video, so make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and this is Commando Bricks, signing out.